Hello, uh, in this video, we will uh, go uh, a bit deeper into the data path of uh, pipeline design. So let's get started. So in the previous lecture, we, we uh, kind of uh, discussed at a high level of uh, the data path of different stages like fetch, decode, uh, the, the execute operation, memory and write back. Uh, in this video, we will kind of uh, go into the each and every stage in detail and uh, look at each and every operation uh, more, more carefully. So uh, you may find uh, some of the stages are kind of easy to follow. Okay, so obviously the first stage, the instruction fetch, uh, pretty easy as we have been discussing about it a lot. So this is uh, the program counter that provides the address and uh, that goes into memory memory provide the instruction okay at the same time uh, the pc goes here gets incremented becomes pc plus four here and this is the interstage latch or the register pipeline register that will kind of latch pc plus four and the instruction that we have retrieved from the memory at the end of uh, first cycle okay so at this moment i'm just showing uh, the notion of branch and jump and then uh, the notion of target uh, in case we are jumping into some different portion of the code that will come from the later stage of the pipeline and once it comes uh, this multiplexer will uh, come into picture depending on the control signal it will either pick pc plus 4 or it will pick pc plus 4 let's say plus some target okay based on that this will be the updated pc okay so th this is the entire uh, sequence of operations that happen uh, in the very first stage uh, the instruction fit stage okay so the next stage will be the decode stage. We'll move into the decode stage in the next cycle. So this is cycle one. Now at the end of cycle one, we have uh, discussed that fetch stage has provided PC plus four and the instruction, it is there in the latch, right? Now in the decode stage, we need to decode the instruction right read the upcode generate control signals and other steps right extract the register numbers from uh, the instruction format right get the corresponding data let's say this is data one this is data two kind of okay and at the end of cycle two so this is cycle two we have communicated pc plus four as usual remember the pc plus four continues uh, from, from the previous latch to the current latch okay and with that we have also added the content of uh, two registers the data will be presented to two registers and the control signals so that those are the new things that are uh, kind of generated during this decode stage there is a uh, you know, you know there, there's a path coming from the future stage into the register file mostly writing into a register with the data that we will see in the write back stage right one thing that you should kind of uh, correlate here is at the end of cycle two, right? This PC plus four is different from this PC plus four. Remember, this is the PC plus four from the first instruction, which is now done with the second stage. The decode stage is done. This PC plus four is the second instruction, which entered into the pipeline in the, let's say cycle number two, right? And this instruction has just finished its fifth stage. Its fifth stage is over. That's why it's last here. Decode stage is over. 
and the PC plus four is communicated from uh, the fifth stage. Okay. So at any point of time, if you look at a particular latch, the latch will have uh, the interstage uh, names. For example, here it is between fetch and decode. Here it is between decode and execute, right? So you, you should not get confused with this PC plus four with this PC plus four. Okay. Okay, let's move on. So now we are done with stage two. And at this moment, there are two instructions in the pipeline. One just finished the decode stage. The other instruction has just finished the first stage. Now we are moving towards the execute stage. So in the execute stage, this is the content of the latch, which will uh, get communicated into the data path in the beginning of cycle three, right? Depending on uh, the, you know, uh, from where exactly we are getting the data, uh, whether it's directly from the register or some sign extension or whatever, we will perform the ALU operation, right? And at the same time, since this is the stage where we kind of evaluate our branch condition, right? Whether, whether a particular if condition is getting true or not in this particular stage, the PC plus four has now become PC plus four plus offset because now we know where exactly to jump, right? And ALU has performed the operation whatever operation this particular instruction was uh, designed for, the ALU result has been latched, right? Along with that, the register contents are still latched, right? Because it may happen that uh, we are using it uh, later somewhere, okay? And the control signals continue, but the difference between this control signal and this control signal, so there are, let's say, control signal one and this control signal two, is at this moment this stores control signal for all the stages from execute memory and write back at this moment this control signal stores the control signal only for memory and write back because for this particular instruction which is already in stage three and it has already spent three cycles it does almost on the verge of completion, just two more stages to go. But at this moment, this particular latch is actually latching the previous instruction, which has so far traversed only uh, two stages, right? Next it will enter into the execute stage and memory and then right back. So you should visualize this pipeline as instruction moving from left to right and the latches are kind of storing their corresponding updated content. It may be data, it may be control, it may be PC values. Okay, so we are done with cycle three. Now we'll move into the memory stage. So at the end of cycle three, this is the content of the latch between execute and memory stage. At this moment, we'll provide the target into uh, the first uh, stage, the fifth stage. Remember? So if you remember the first stage, I said the target will come, right? So yeah, so this may be PC plus four plus target or PC plus target or whatever, depending on uh, what exactly you're doing, okay? So this is what is coming now, right? At uh, cycle four, right? Uh, rather it is actually uh, going from cycle three, uh, but but we are, we are showing uh, from uh, this latch in uh, cycle four. Okay, the cycle three has the updated PC value, uh, which will kind of uh, go into the data path uh, in the beginning of uh, cycle four. So this is now cycle four. Okay, so this stage uh, is dealing with getting data from memory. So uh, depending on um, the addressing mode, so let's say this is a relative addressing mode. The content of the register uh, provides the address that's why we are going into the memory with this address. And based on that, we are getting the data from the memory, right? 
control signal moves some of the control signals may get used here the rest of the control signals will get propagated right alu result will also get propagated because it may happen that eventually we have to write it back into the register we'll see in the next stage but see there is no pc plus 4 here because there is no need of pc beyond this point so we are not communicating that so the latches is the latch is not storing pc plus 4 or pc plus 4 plus offset right so with that we are done with stage 4 and cycle 4 so at this moment uh, there are many instructions uh, more than one instruction which are uh, roaming around in the pipeline now the last stage last and final stage which is cycle 5 this is cycle 5 for instruction 1 so at this moment the memory stage has propagated all this uh, data uh, alu result and control signals depending on uh, the kind of instruction you have to eventually write into a register right so uh, and you have to write the data into a particular register so if you look back stage two so there is data path coming from the write back stage for a particular register let's say register r12 and let's say the data is 30 so that is what is coming from this particular stage the data is going back into the register file and the destination register is also uh, propagated right register number so another crucial point that you should remember or you should kind of focus on here is we need to propagate this register number throughout the pipeline uh, latches because it may happen that the register number may change so for example register number here we are dealing with the rd right in which you will store your data finally now the rd for instruction one will be different from rd of instruction five right? because at the end of cycle five fifth instruction would have entered the pipeline now you should know what is your rd right so for that you should communicate your rd throughout your pipeline so it, it should get propagated otherwise you will get uh, a wrong value you will end up updating some other uh, art uh, you will end up getting some other registers okay so with that we will stop uh, discussing about the data path uh, this is the complete picture uh, this is stage one stage two stage three stage four and stage five okay so uh, th this is a uh, uh, temporal uh, flow uh, but but usually this two are happening here in the register file right but but just for uh, sake of better understanding it is shown as uh, you know it's happening here but actually uh, this is actually happening in the register file okay so uh, go through it try to uh, understand uh, all the subtle issues in terms of data path and what is happening at each stage and uh, the utility of all these latches so we'll uh, move into the control signals so in the single cycle cpu the control signals were kind of triggered every cycle right and uh, for the entire uh, data path right in the single cycle with the pipeline design now the control signals will be per stage uh, as we have already uh, uh, discussed that the interstage uh, pipeline register should have the control signals for that particular instruction for the rest of the stages right so for more detail you can actually refer uh, figure 4.50 uh, in uh, phn book okay and uh, as you can also uh, kind of guess that this pipeline registers or the latches they are written every clock cycle so there is no need of additional control signal right so on a positive edge let's say these are the latches this is stage one, this is stage two, this is stage three. On a positive edge, they will kind of move their data, right? 
and at, at the end of the previous clock cycle they will last the data so th that that is the uh, job of these pipeline registers okay so so far we have assumed that uh, everything is going well all the operations that we are performing are kind of uniformly distributed across different stages the operations are getting repeated that's why there's there is a utility of pipelining right we are performing the same kind of operation let's say addition with different of different data but the operation is still the same and we are assuming that all these operations are independent so that means there is no dependency between an odd and multiplier or a load between a branch uh, between a load and a branch or something like that right but in reality um, you will find all these assumptions won't hold true all the time okay We'll see those things in the next video. Uh, 